Hi, welcome to blog web 6 dorog In today's video, we are going to add social media links on your navigation using 2014 child theme. So what we're going to do is uh, something like this. So we're going to add the three of these social media links on our navigation menu in the top bar. At the moment, I'm using Facebook, G+, and Twitter. And then we modify the color of the button itself. And we also add the hover state change color as you can see if I hover it one of these button the color will change immediately so we're going to add something like this uh, in this video there are also another way how you can add the social media icon so I've just tried some of the method and as you can see here I'm adding the images that actually uh, having the functions the same here and the uh, menu itself it's still combined with this uh, social media links also another alternative is also um, not using image but using general icons. In this website I don't use image but I use general icons that already built in in 2014 child theme and then I move the menu itself to a little bit left than the um, social media link so I basically separate the menu bar and the social link itself but uh, for this two examples I don't do for today so what I'm just going to do today is uh, creating something like this so the um, links and then we modify the color actually this is the best solution because it's not loading images so it will not disturb the loading speed of your website because this is just a menu and then a CSS style and uh, basically it won't be bothering or disturbing your loading speed because it won't load any image resources so let's get started first step you go to your dashboard so this is the uh, site that we will work with as you can see this site doesn't have any menu or any social media links at the moment and um, next step as I said earlier we go to our dashboard so go to your dashboard or you go to domain.com and then slash wb-admin and then the next is we could do appearance and then menus so as you can see I don't have any menu on this page uh, you can actually create your first menu or you just edit your existed menu if there is already a menu in your site so let's create uh, my first menu so this would be a top menu nav for example and then create menu button here on the right and then for example I'm going to add all of my pages so view all and then click select all here and then add all of my pages basically to my top menu navigation um, menu and then now I'm going to add the categories as well again view all and select all and add to menu now for the demo purpose I'm just going to drag and drop and make drop drag menu so uncategorized uh, sub item will be on, under the sample page uh, item here and then for the menu settings I check on automatically add new top level pages to this menu and also the theme location I want the top navigation menu so not in the left sidebar and then I'm going to hit save menu button here and we're going to refresh our blog now as you can see I have home for home page and sample page and also I have drop down menu for the uncategorized menu the next is we're going to add the uh, social media icons there so Facebook G plus and Twitter and we go back again to our menu here and then before we do that you notice that we have screen options on the top here just click on that arrow button next to the screen option and you will see more options here so we're going to check all of this okay and then uh, collapse back the screen options there and now next is we're going to add the links itself so click on links there and then as you can see now we can type the URL and the link text so um, I'm just going to open the new tab and go to my blog and uh, I want to click on that Facebook so I want to uh, link to my Facebook page for example and then I'm just going to click that and I will be on my Facebook page then I'm going to copy this URL so obviously you can also change your Facebook URL to your Facebook page URL and then for the URL I paste it here and the link text I'm going to type in on Facebook you can type in whatever you like so when the people visit outside they know that this uh, Facebook icon will link to my Facebook and then add to menu 
Now here is the most important part when we want to modify our social media icons or social media links. So you click on that custom arrow button here and then for navigation label we have already the title attribute. We can uh, put anything you like for the title of this menu. I'm going to type in Facebook page. And then if you want to open link in a new tab, you can click on that. But I would personally will check this because uh, I want when people click on that link, they will not close our site. So they will also uh, can view our site and open this link in another window. And the, m the other most important is that the CSS classes if you want to change the color. So I want to name it here as Facebook dash menu. And then the link relationship, you can put on no follow or follow. For example, you want to put it on no follow, then you will um, type on no follow here. But I don't want to put it on no follow, so I'm just going to uh, leave it empty. And then the description, I'm going to uh, put some description of this menu item so I know what, what kind of menu it is. So the description I want to put on link to my Facebook page. So once I'm happy with all of the settings, I'm just going to hit on save menu here on the button. And when it's done, we're going to check on our blog and refresh it. And as you can see, now we have our Facebook icon there. But as you can see that if I hover it, uh, it has a red color. And for some reason, you want to change the Facebook color here. It's like Facebook colors uh, icon. So what we're going to do is we go to um, modify the CSS, but now we want to add another uh, social media links, for example, G plus and Twitter. So let's uh, do the same. So go to links again and put uh, your Twitter URL. So for this case, I'm just going to type in twitter.com and then the link text Twitter. Obviously, the URL you're going to need to put your own URL and then add to menu and again for the navigation label is okay like that and the title output is maybe you're going to follow me on Twitter and then open link in a new tab CSS class Twitter dash menu then the link relations like blank, blank and then um, follow me on Twitter uh, menu link for example and then again save menu and the next is t plus again links and then um, www.google.com also the link of your uh, google plus url and then link item is like g plus um, just put it like that or you can also put it on google plus but for now i'm just going to put it uh, or to have the link text as G plus and then add to menu. Same like Twitter and Facebook, we need to put on title attribute. Then open link in new tab, CSS class, Google plus dash menu and same li link relationship empty description. I put on Google plus post sorry and then URL and then again click on save menu so once you have your social media links you can also uh, drag and drop this menu to change the position so let's say I want to have the G plus at the first link then I'm going to drag it on the top and uh, drop it there and then once you're happy click on save menu Again, we go to our site and refresh it. And there are our social media links um, on our navigation. So for now, we want to change the color of these buttons. So as you can see, it has the same color as others and we want to change something like this. What we can do is uh, go to our dashboard again. At the moment we are on menus, now we move to editor. So go to appearance and editor, click on that button. So once we are here, uh, on the select theme to edit, make sure that it's the name of 20 
uh, 14 chart theme and if you haven't created any 2014 chart theme you can check out my other tutorial how to do that so once I know that it's uh, my 20 chart theme theme then I can go to this uh, text here so my 2014 and this is the th the file that we are viewing on this box so it's called style.css or it is blue highlighted here on the right side as you can see and then now here we're going to add the uh, color of the button and the hover state as well so we're going to scroll down uh, and then beneath all of your codes that you have in style.css we're going to hit enter one time and then uh, commenting to know next time what this code for it so going to hit enter and then um, slash and then star sign and then adding social menu colors on top navigation for example and then star sign and then slash and then hit enter one time or two times it's okay and then we're going to uh, we want the color to be like this so blue color so what we can do is uh, you can look any other social icons that you can find and then inspect the color I'm using the YouTube social or a share icons here and then I'm using Chrome a browser at the moment and I have add-in colors which call pick a uh, color picker but if you don't use this add-ons you just can copy and paste the code that I will provide you so I'm going to uh, show you how actually this um, uh, process will work so I'm just going to pick color from this icon from this Facebook icon and it's copied in my clipboard and then I go to colorpicker.com if you don't have any browser add-on and then we're going to paste that here but first we're going to um, paste to our text edit or any text editor and then copy this um, color code without the hash sign and then put it here and then hit enter and then it will uh, show you which color we are right now and as you can see it has this blue color so I'm just going to copy this and then go back to our uh, theme editor again install.css of child theme we're going to um, add code here if you cannot remember in what classes uh, this Facebook button here go back again to menu and open in a new tab so right click it and open link in new tab and then here we are on menu section go to Facebook and as you can see I name it in CSS class called Facebook Facebook dash menu so uh, going to go to themes editor again and then here we're going to specify the class that we just created so dot Facebook and then dash menu and then um, opening brackets and closing brackets and in between these brackets we're going to type in background and then dash color and then colon and then paste it pasting the code that we uh, copy from color picker but before that we type on hair sign and then paste that code and semicolon and then update file and then we could uh, refreshing our blog and sure enough now the Facebook color uh, the Facebook link has its color its blue color but if you notice that we, if we hover it it turns back to uh, red which is the hover color of the other menu item here and maybe you don't want that maybe we want to add that as a darker or lighter Facebook color so what we're going to do is back to this uh, colorpicker.com and then drag this uh, circle here circle icon here to have any color that you like but we will stay on bluish color so I'm going to make it darker so just like this and copy this and then go back to our theme editor again and uh, hit enter and then type in the same so Facebook I mean dot Facebook and then dash menu and then um, a and then colon hover because we want to change the hover state and then uh, my, um, opening brackets and closing brackets and between we're going to um, change the background color so type in on background and then dash color and then 
colon again and then hash sign and then paste the code that we have and then update file and then uh, refresh our blog we hover it and it's still red so we need to add the other code so we're going to put on uh, this sign and then import before the semicolon and update file so when it says file edited successfully we're going to refresh our blog and then if we hover it maybe you cannot see the difference but uh, in real time or in real life you can see that the uh, Facebook background if we hover it it changed to darker here okay and uh, we need to do the same with uh, Google Plus and Twitter icon but I already changed I already um, make the video uh, make the code so it will be faster here so copy that and then paste it here uh, you can also put it on more specify so Facebook dash menu on a state so to be more specific and then update file and then go back to our blog again refresh it and now sure enough now it's changed the color okay so you can change the color to darker if you like or lighter if you like but that's basically is how we can add the social media links on our top navigation bar so thank you so much for watching and please like this video if it was useful for you and take care of yourself see you in the next videos goodbye